Hello, everyone. Once again, thank you so much for your support. Today, I would like to continue on the previous video. Today, our topic for discussion is radio propagation mechanism. Today, I will emphasize on link budget. Firstly, I will define what is link budget. Next, I will derive the equation of a link budget. So this is our objective for today's video. Let's start. What is lean budget? Okay, by examining the lean budget, we can determine whether communication system meets the requirements comfortably or marginally or fail to meet the specification. Okay, so in short, lean budget quantify the quality of the communication link. If for example, have you ever wondered how Delco can guarantee 99.9 .9 coverage, for example, how they derive the number 99.9% .9 of coverage, how confident they are when they mention 99.9% .9 of coverage. So behind the scene, they actually calculate the link budget. When they calculate the link budget, they will be able to determine whether the communication link is able to establish. Hence, with link budget, okay, more or less, you can quantify whether the link will be able to establish either comfortably or marginally, or sometimes you can't even feel to make the establish of communication. So what happened here is, for example, if you feel to make the communication establishment. Okay, so for example, in this case, this is a transmitter, this is a receiver. What you can do is you can increase the transmit power. On the other hand, you can improve the receiver sensitivity. So these are the two parameters that you can play with in order to increase the chances to receive the message from the transmitter. So in short, link budget is an estimation technique for evaluating the communication system performance. So this is the definition of link budget. Okay, so now we are ready to derive the equation of link budget. Okay, so this diagram shows the link budget component. Okay, on your left will be the transmitter. On your right will be the receiver right in between the transmitter and receiver, it will be air. The transmitter transmit via the medium air in order to establish communication with the receiver. So let's start by derive the equation. Okay, normally, we would like to know what is the receiver power. From the receiver power, we will be able to know whether we can detect the signal. So hence, normally for link budget, okay, we would like to express in terms of receiver power. So how can we derive the equation? Okay, everything starts from the left. Okay, so on the left, we have the transmit power. Okay, the transmit power is at the output of the transmitter. After the transmit power, normally there will be a cable that link the transmitter to the antenna. So the cable we define as a cable loss. After the cable, there will be a transmit antenna. Okay, so again, we denote them as GT. So after the antenna, we are ready to send the signal over the air. And from the previous video, we know that there will be loss when we actually transmit over the air. So therefore, we can use path loss to quantify this loss. Okay, one thing that I would like to skip for now is the fake margin. Okay, on the next slide, okay, I will explain what is fake margin. At this moment, I would like to propose that we skip this fake margin first. After the path loss, okay, we have a receiver antenna and we denote them as GR. And last but not least, typically, a antenna is actually linked to a receiver via a cable. 
and therefore I denote this as LF. Okay, so with this, I have derived the link budget equation. Okay, I know you guys will question, where are all the signs? Where are all the plus and minus? Okay, so now we are ready to include the sign. Okay, for example, when it's a source and when it's actually provide some form of gain, okay, we will use plus to represent that. When there's loss, we will use minus to represent that. Okay, so now we are ready to add the sign to the equation. Okay, transmit power. Okay, so transmit power is a source of a transmitter. Hence, for source, okay, I must include the plus. So the transmitter okay, is indicated with a plus. Next will be a cable loss. Okay, so as mentioned here, the cable loss, okay, we will use a minus to denote a cable loss. Next will be transmit antenna. Typical antenna actually provide a form of gain. And hence, okay, we will indicate a plus in front of a transmit antenna. Next will be path loss. As mentioned, path loss is a form of loss. So we will indicate minus in front of path loss. Next in the line will be the receiver antenna. Okay, the receiver antenna actually provide a form of gain. And therefore, we will indicate with a positive in front of the receiver antenna. And last but not least, another cable loss okay, with an indicate of minus. So this is the derivation of the link budget. Okay, except the fake margin. Okay, I'm going to share with you what is fake margin on the next slide. This is the equation that I have derived on the previous slide. As mentioned, okay, we need to include the fake margin. So whether the fake margin is a plus and minus, before we conclude whether is it a plus and minus, maybe let's define what is fake margin. Okay, fake margin actually gives us a form of assurance so that we can actually receive the signal. Fake margin is also normally used to compare the multi-path fading. So now we are ready to assign whether is it a positive or a minus to the fake margin. Before this, okay, I would like to express the equation in terms of transmit power okay, as shown over here. So what I do is basically I move this whole chunk onto the left. And that's how I arrive this equation here. And again, I need to derive whether for fake margin, will it be a plus or minus? Okay, so let's take a look on this transmit power. What happened here is if I increase my transmit power, put it on the other hand, when I actually shout instead of talking, the chances of you to hear me when I shout actually increase. So therefore, when I actually shout, it's almost like an increase of transmit power. And hence with this, I know the fake margin will be a plus. And therefore, I can rewrite the equation as shown over here. And as mentioned earlier on, okay, it is quite normal to express the whole link budget equation with respect to the receiver power. Okay, over here, I include the dBm and dB into this equation here. Next, I put everything, the figure on top and the equation below, so you can relate all the components. For example, the transmit power, the cable loss here, the transmitter antenna, the path loss, the gain of a receiver antenna, the cable loss, and last but not least, the fade margin to compare fading effect. So with this, i like to end my video. Please like and subscribe. Thank you.